Hi, Sunny friends, it's Tina here, and I want to get you into a 15 minute upper body dumbbell workout. So it's gonna be a quick little warm up, about a minute 30, three different movements. Then we're gonna go right into a 12 minute work. So again, it's only 12 minutes, 40 seconds on, 20 second rest and transition to the next movement. Now we are gonna do one cardio to two strengths and repeat that two times through. So just stay with me and we're gonna do this together. So let's get started on our first one down on the ground for a push-up hand release. Since it's upper body, we wanna go ahead and warm up all of those muscles, chest, arms, and shoulders. So it's 30 seconds right here. We got 10 more seconds left to go. Release those hands, squeeze your quads, tighten everything up so you're moving like a plank. Five more seconds. Here we go, three, two, one. Next one, the super mom, because I'm a super mom right here. My kids don't think sometimes, but I'm gonna keep telling myself that. Squeeze and hold. We got 20 more seconds on these supermans for the gentlemen's out there and the super moms if you're mom. There we go, 10 more seconds. Lift and squeeze and hold. Five more seconds. Breathe, three, two and one and we're gonna go ahead and transition over to our weighted workout so we're gonna move our equipment here we're gonna do a lot of things with this bench you can use your floor um, wherever you're at just get your equipment ready have your water and towel because this is where the 12 minute work of the strength is gonna start so first one we're gonna go ahead and do mountain climbers is our cardio Again, 40 seconds of work and 20 second rest. So you can put your hands on the bench or if you're on the floor, again, make sure that your shoulders are directly over those wrists. You don't wanna be pushed back here and running this way. Keep everything nice and tight. And right here, 20 more seconds. I like getting my heart rate up. It makes me feel like I'm actually working out sometimes. And then I activate all my muscles while I do this. 10 more seconds. Here we go. Five seconds. Let's go, let's go. Three, two, and one. 20 second rest. We're gonna go ahead and grab our dumbbells for the strength portion. So whatever equipment that you have, just go ahead and grab those. I'm gonna actually grab one for a single arm chest press. So get myself here on the bench or again on the floor. I'm gonna bring the dumbbell down and up. Now, because it's single arm, we're actually using a lot of our core muscles to stabilize ourselves, whether it's on the floor or on the bench. We got 20 more seconds. If you realize we're only staying on one arm, on the second round, we're gonna be switching to the other side. 15 seconds. Exhale when you come up. Inhale deep when you come down. Push that air out. In and out. Three, two, one, and switch. Second one of the strength workout, we're gonna work our back muscles. So again, on the bench or on the floor, you wanna go ahead and hold the dumbbell. And from here, we're gonna be rowing back into that pocket area. So we're not gonna go this way, we're gonna pull it back. So here we go. Three, two, one, and go. So row, bring it down, and squeeze right back down. You wanna engage all of those back lateral muscles right here, keeping your eyes down towards the ground, not up like this way. Your spine wants to be, you wanna make sure that your spine is neutral. Open up your chest as well, so your back is nice and flat. You got less than 10. We're burning out this one side for this first round. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and put that down. We got a 20 second rest, but we're gonna be going into jumping jacks. So again, hands over your head walking it out or 
jumping it out, okay? So wherever you're at, beginners or advanced, do what you can. Here we go, three, two, one, and we're jumping. Make sure you keep breathing, and if you need to catch your breath, just slow it down. But sometimes I tell myself, I can do more. So I wanna get that heart rate up. Whole point of this is, again, get your heart elevated so that when we're doing our strength, that blood is flowing right through. 10 more seconds. Breathe, smile, and have fun. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. You're done. 20 seconds. Now we're going into our shoulders. So grab whichever weight that you like. We're gonna be doing two weights this time, and we're doing a shoulder press. So you're gonna hold the weights 90 degrees right here, and we're gonna be pressing up, or two, whichever you feel like. So extend up, you can alternate, or you can press both. Now you're asking, why am I sitting? Well, most of us, we tend to cheat. I do sometimes, so as you get tired, you're gonna to wanna to use your legs, and this is more challenging, and you'll feel more of a burn as you're doing this. So if you notice, I'm doing two hands sometimes. I'm also alternating each side, but really try to focus on that 90 degree with your arms. Three, two, one. Shake it out, my shoulders are burning. Go ahead and roll out sometimes. Remember, you got 20 seconds to always kind of reset, catch your breath, set up for the next movement. So now we're gonna go into biceps. Biceps, same thing. We're gonna hold a static hold and we're gonna curl right here. When you bring the weight down, make sure that you come up and squeeze, slowly bring it down and then power up. I'm holding with the other side, which is still engaging those bicep muscles. And we're gonna switch. I'm gonna be a little nice to you on this one, I guess. It's perspective, right? 10 more seconds. Here we go. We're almost done, guys. Five seconds. Breathe. Three, two, and one. So that was round one. Now we're gonna go into round two. And since we did single side the first time on our chest press and also our back row, gotta do the other side, right? So let's get set up. We're going into, oh, actually, mountain climbers. I forgot the cardio. I also want to skip cardio at times. But cardio, though it feels bad in the moment, you're gonna feel really good. So remember, don't cheat yourself. And if it's by accident, then just go right into it. 20 more seconds, here we go. Keep breathing. If you need to slow it down, just bring those knees up to your chest. And if you're more advanced, I wanna see you working the entire time because we got five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Now we go into the other side of our single arm chest press. So catch your breath, slow down your breathing, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Go ahead and get yourself set up for that other side. Here we go. Three, two, one, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Since we just did a cardio, this is the time that you just wanna kinda of slow things down, focus on that form, catch your breath. Really slow things down. Also, another thing to note is that when you're laying down, your heart rate will actually slow down a lot faster. We only have 10 more seconds. Are you with me? Mm, I'm feeling it. Five seconds. Three, two, one and time. You know what's up next, right? It's the back row. Gotta give that love to the other side. So I am gonna go to the other side and hit the other side of my back. 
and get myself right here, five seconds. Remember, we're pulling the weight up into the back pocket. Here we go, three, two, and one. Pull, bring it down slow, exhale, right here, squeeze. Keep your focus down towards the ground. You don't wanna tuck in your chin or look up too much. Right here, 15 more seconds. And at any time, if you're burning too much or something hurts, just drop your weight. And my whole thing is, don't give up. Three, two, and one. We got that lovely jumping jack because again, we gotta get that heart rate up, right? So here's your last cardio before we move on to the last two movements. So again, stay in it and don't give up. We're going in five jumping jacks. Three, two, one, and go. Jumping it out right here. 30 seconds and you're gonna be done with this for the day. Breathe. Get those arms all the way up overhead. Try not to do the little baby ones right here. It's cheating. I don't want to be a cheater. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. I'm counting, I'm counting. Countdown coming, guys. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Last two movements. Catch your breath, so inhale, exhale. We're going four, I'm gonna bump down the, my weight. We're gonna go to that shoulder press, okay? So shoulder press, remember, right here, and we're gonna press up, alternating or both arms at the same time. Upright, nice posture, here we go. So again, push that air out. When you come up, inhale deep. Again, this is gonna fall, probably feel a little bit more challenging because we're not using any swing motions or momentum to get those weights up. So you can use lighter weights. I challenge you to see how heavy you can go, but it's okay if you can't go that heavy. Right here, five seconds. Here we go, Woo. three, two, and one. Time. We're almost done. The last one is those bicep curls because gun show, right? 10 seconds, I'm gonna catch my breath. Push out that negativity. Five seconds, static hold on the first side. Get that ready, three, two, and one. Squeeze, come down slow. Up on one second, one, two, three on your way down. See if you can slow it down on that negative. You'll probably feel a bigger burn. And guess what? No momentum, so you can't rock those weights up. Switch sides, squeeze, hold the other one nice and tight. Right here. We got 10 more seconds. And I swear we'll be done. Five seconds. Three, two, one. You're done. Congratulations, everybody. You have finished an upper body dumbbell workout. I'm gonna move this over so that we can do a little cool down. You're gonna meet me on the floor and just catch your breath. Catch your breath for a quick sec. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Sometimes I like to just take a moment, really think about what I just finished, and then we're gonna go into a stretch. So child pose is the first one. Meet me on the floor and we wanna push our hips back. Extend your arms out. We're stretching all of our back muscles here. Go ahead and kind of move in different directions so you're really stretching out your back. Push your, say, your armpits into the ground right here. Then go to the other side. I hope you had fun. Sometimes it might not feel like fun during the workout, but when you come out of it, you're gonna feel really good and proud of yourself. And then we're gonna go into a cross body. And this is gonna be the time that I wanna tell you guys that wherever you're at, you can do whatever you want. 
it doesn't matter where you came from, what you think you can do and can't do. Just stay focused, determined, persistent and consistent. And honestly, you can reach most of your goals, but you have to believe in yourself. So I believe in you and I just want you to believe in yourself. So good job today and I'll see you next time. Bye.